And so I'd love for you to take just a minute here as we get started and answer those first two questions on page one. It is a fillable PDF. You can type right into the chat box and answer those two questions. First, what do you want to achieve this year? And try to think about something tangible, something observable, measurable, right? What are you hoping to achieve? Maybe for you, it's a, uh, you know, the, the growth of the company or uh, 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 the goals of your department. Maybe for you, it's a, a promotion or an opportunity that you're trying to capitalize on. Maybe it's a new customer acquisition or building out a new business line, right? What's something you want to achieve this year? You can even apply it to your personal life. Maybe it's, a, it's something you're preparing for, something you're working towards. Maybe it's a, a fitness goal or a, a, a family goal. Right? And then the second question is, how do you want to be seen by those around you? So not just like, what do you, how do you want to feel? But I want you to think about from the perspective of others and how they observe and view your behavior. How do you want to be seen by others? So take just a minute and answer those two questions. As we're talking about a lot of these topics, uh, I, I tend to think of them like filters, right? We're using these things as filters to determine what we should and shouldn't do. Uh, we know that our values or our beliefs are what guide our decision making. But a lot of times we can let these external influences or inspirations affect that as well. And so these filters are really helpful for us to define, for us to be, you know, take ownership of Really, what are we focused on? How are we using this to help move forward? And uh, a lot of times an analogy that's helpful for these things is like a GPS, right? You're trying to bridge the gap. You're trying to get from point A to point B. And where are you today? What are your default tendencies is really key to understand. But then secondly is where are you trying to go? What are you trying to achieve? And so we're going to talk about both of those because this is one of those things. This isn't just a grade school comment. This is one of those exercises where there is no wrong answer, right? Because it is unique to you. It's exactly what you're trying to achieve. Thank you. So is anyone... what about the second question? Uh, how do you want to be, you know, perceived by others? How do you, how would you like someone else to describe you? Or how do you want to be seen by those around you? All right, so this, this process alone of, of crafting the future state, right, that ideal future state of where you want to be, either the things you want to achieve or kind of how you want to be known uh, along the way of getting there, um, requires us to start with an, a level of self-awareness already, right? Any of our trainings, any of our, our content, any of our coaching programs that involve emotional intelligence, you know, kind of development, um, it always starts with self-awareness, right? We even say it as part of our DISC training that if you have high self-awareness, it can lead to healthy relationships and healthy relationships. The number one indicator of happiness, a happy brain is a productive brain, right? That's kind of the formula that these soft skill things do matter, but we are focused very much today on the mindset, right? Our mindset that we bring into these things and kind of how, we're, what we're focused on, what we're paying attention to when we wake up each day, right? How we're filtering these things to know what's actually helping us to move the needle forward on what we want to achieve and who we want to become. So go ahead and flip to page two, and we'll walk through each of these uh, competing concepts, right? Each of these ends of the spectrum, the extremes that we want to kind of analyze or pay attention to. And so we talked about the first one, right? So the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Versus if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Well, another one, you all heard slow and steady wins the race, right? But what if we compare that with the people who are like, oh, go all in. You see that mountain, you got to go take it. Don't hold back. Burn the ships. If you've ever heard that, that story and analogy from battle, right? Burn the ships so you have to go for it. That'll be another one we'll, we'll assess here. And then the last one's a little bit of a different kind of mindset, a different, different approach. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that talk about this concept of really, and, and this is a, a very relevant topic for what we've been going through as a, as a society um, this past year, this concept of taking extreme ownership, which uh, a lot of people, the way they would describe extreme ownership would mean really kind of controlling everything about your life, like taking that level of ownership to say, I'm going to control the outcome of these things. It's not happening to me. I'm going to go do it versus it's really kind of accepting what you can't control. Another way to think about that one is there's a difference between your circle of influence and circle of, of uh, or circle of interest, excuse me, and circle of control. There's things that matter to you. 
you may not be able to control them. So kind of understanding the difference between those two. So what I'd like you to do is take a minute and go through this and first look at the first question of where are you now, okay? And you can actually uh, mark that. You can move the dial um, on, the, on the PDF to where you think you are now. And then again, think in terms of your future goals, right? What you're trying to accomplish, what you want to be known as, and think about where do you want to be, right? What's the ideal balance? Now, I will ask you, and uh, Bob, I'll give you a shout out on this one because we've talked about this in the past. I will ask you not to choose the 50-50 mark. Right? Don't put it right smack dab in the middle. It can be 51-49, but make sure you're thinking through, where do I lean on one of these two? And so if we start on the first one, you can go ahead and start working on it yourself, but I'll keep kind of talking to you a little bit. If we look at that first one, shared a little bit in the opener, but doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Um, I believe, I mean, most, if not everybody on this call is probably familiar with the birds right? Many of you have taken a disc assessment, even if it's not been through velocity. Um, we could even apply a lens like the bird styles and kind of get, take a stab at where different styles might lean on this spectrum, right? If we're looking at where are you now, right? What's your default tendency? So when stress is high, when you're not paying attention to it, when you're in a hurry, right? When you wake up in the morning, what's kind of your default? What's the mirror, you know, uh, going to be? And so which styles, which birds might lean more towards, uh, you know, the definition of insanity, if they're not attentive to it, which styles might lean more to that same sort of routine approach to things? Well, good. Well, I do want to, I do want to leave you with kind of the, the, uh, I guess the request that you take a few minutes and you go through the last couple of questions around what is one thing you can do in each of these areas to move you in the right direction? And for some of you, it may not even necessarily be like a, a practical thing because it might be situational, but it might be assessing your triggers, right? Or what are the type of situations that cause you to go to your default tendency instead of the, where you want to be, right? That's a really helpful exercise to just think about, well, what are the types of situations that might cause me to take too much ownership? And, and cause a lack of engagement from my team or to burn myself out or to wear out, right? What are the type of situations where I get really excited and I just go all in when in reality, slow and steady may be a more effective approach, right? So take a, take a few minutes and actually walk through that. 